Yeah. Okay, we did it in the rain, and I'm gonna say it's not as enjoyable in the rain. It was like being in a dishwasher, <laughs> spinning around in there. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm at Six Flags right now, and as you can see, I am very wet. I just got here, and I'm meeting up with Adam, because on a whim, we were like, let's go to Six Flags. And I would say about half an hour on the way in, it started pouring out, and now it's gonna stay raining all day, which means I'm gonna show you all how to do this park in the rain. I'm actually really excited about it. You can see this, check this out. There are so many people exiting because they don't want to be in the rain. The rides should still be running. And if they're running, I'm going on those rides, because rain's just water, people. And honestly, it feels nice in the middle of the summer. First thing I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna hop into Looney Tunes Emporium and see if I can find some kind of like jacket. And if not, I'll just wing it like this. Actually, I take that back. I'm not gonna get something to wear. Oh, I'm getting waved at, hello. <laughs> I, I like the way people wave at me, it's really nice. Uh, so I'm not gonna get anything to wear because you know what? I'm already soaked. I don't really care enough. And it's kind of warm right now, so. This is not like when it's a great adventure and it was raining and freezing for, day for days. It's like at least 75, 79 degrees, so. Screw it, I'm already wet. Adam and I have found each other and unfortunately Superman and Cyclone are both down now. I don't know what the deal is, but we're hoping that turns on at some point in the next four Probably hours. Heavy rain or something. Well, yeah, I don't really know. Like, right but how, well, we went to Great Adventure and they ran Nitro in the rain, so I don't know. But right now, he wants to find a hoodie. Actually, I kind of like this. Look at this. What size is this here? <laughs> Sorry. <you> <laughs> Thanks. No, that, what, is that like children's small? Probably. It uh, says uh, medium oh, by youth, children's youth, medium. Youth medium. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> I'm not that tiny, dude. <laughs> I'm over here and I'm like, I'm already wet, so I don't really care what I'm wearing at this point. There's so many people that are like, why can't I find an umbrella? And I'm like, they bought them all. They're all gone. There's literally some right shop. here. Oh my God, in the first gift <laughs> shop. I have heard so many people say today that they cannot find an umbrella, but they're right here i mean i'm sure they're like children's size but still up and walk around umbrellas for sale <laughs> <laughs> buy them 50 percent off sell like them up and you just like fly away <laughs> okay i can't fathom why there's michael myers merch in the middle of the store so like i don't really, i don't know what's happening anymore the first place we're going to try and hit up is the sky screamer because they are running this ride it's kind of like what are they running and what are they not running but there it goes it's rising up into the air Maybe we'll get Danger Zone this time, <laughs> but it's my luck, it will play the jazz song again. Okay, we did it in the rain, and I'm gonna say it's not as enjoyable in the rain. It was like being in a dishwasher, spinning around in there. <laughs> I couldn't see, because my contacts were like, you open your eyes, are gonna blow right out. I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep my eyes closed right now. So it's kind of like squinting, so I can see a little bit better. So anyway, we're gonna try and go on Cyclone next. Yeah, Cyclone. Cyclone, it's open. <laughs> oh, right into the water. <laughs> it's like the Jungle Cruise, except you're in the jungle. Oh, look at this. Perfect, no line. This is why I like coming to the parks in the rain, right here. No lines. <laughs> Just walk right on. So we're going through the Wicked Cyclone in a rainstorm. So we're gonna get like the full effect of the Cyclone right now. The, the more wet I get, the crazier I feel. Oh, you feel, fun. You feeling a little wet? A little bit. <laughs> Since it's wet, that rail is definitely a little slick and it went way faster than it's ever been on. And even 10, anytime I've been on it before, I had to close my eyes at the end though because there were like drops of water hitting me in the face so fast that I was like, I can't see. And then I was like, I just felt this twirling around. I'm screaming to Adam like, where are we on the ride? I can't open my eyes. That was awesome. <laughs> it was throwing me, so it was like digging my thigh a little bit because it was like throwing me faster and harder than normal. Yeah, yeah I heard you screaming behind me, I'm next like, to me. I was oh, like, I can't oh. even look. I, I will lose a contact if I look. <laughs> the rides are so crazy today that every single time I get on one, I'm like losing my mind a little bit. I look like I'm crazy. Look at my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, this is great, guys. This is why we embrace the rain. Rain is just water. <laughs> We're real roller coaster enthusiasts. There you go. We don't oh my god, I almost, I almost got right on the cyclone again, but I want to see if there's a long line of pandemonium or not, so we can check that out. Look at this. This is the shortest I've ever seen this line. We're just gonna roll right in and enjoy this. It's a rarity that I get on the pandemonium because it's crazy. Hold on, I gotta walk through this like stream of water. <laughs> God, it's like a water park today. A gray water park day. 
which describes pretty much any day in New England, Massachusetts. Oh, right. like it. <laughs> All right, we did it. I can you see me? How? Yes. Okay, we did it. It is very wet. <laughs> also. We stood in the rain for like, I don't know, 15 minutes and we get on the ride and the rain just stopped. Which I'm not complaining about, but like, I wish it stopped like earlier. what luck, honestly. What? I wish it stopped earlier while we were waiting in the pouring rain. I mean, I just wish it wasn't raining. There's just that. Well, it seems like this the rest of the night. Look, how, look at my Baywatch look right now. I'm like, <laughs> get that in slow-mo. Oh. Taking a break from the rain, getting ourselves a little Johnny Rockets, a little Impossible Burgers and onions. Wait, did you also get the Impossible Burger? Yep. Exactly. Okay, he also did it. In Natick, where I grew up, we had a Johnny Rockets in our mall, and Katie and I went there all the time as teenagers. That was a long time ago. I'm going not to say how old I am now. Since it is cold again this July, I had to get myself a t-shirt, not a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, but I had a gift card from Kane all season, so. With the combination of Adam's 50% off and my gift card, I got myself a flash sweatshirt, which is like, you know, it was going to be a tank top or a sweatshirt, but I'm freaking cold. And we left that Johnny Rocket, so I was like, yeah, if we're doing anything else today, I need to put something warm on. In July, by the way. These are my colors, though. Black and red. Okay, this actually looks cool. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, do I look badass? <laughs> Approved. <laughs> Approved. Thank you guys for all your help. <laughs> nice and warm now. <laughs> Batman seems like he's a little wet. So I gotta let y'all know though, their uh, sweatshirts run a little small because I typically wear smalls for t-shirts and sweatshirts, but I was holding them up and I was like, okay, this hasn't even gone through the wash yet. And this is a medium <laughs> and it, it's nice and snug on me. <laughs> I think it's because they do like unisex or sort of like could be youth, not, well they do, they have youth sizes too. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, just be aware that they run small. All right, so it's the final hour, which means we can just try and walk onto all the rides, which is what our current plan is, starting with the Riddler. Okay, so never mind, we're not going on Harley or any ride apparently. This park is open until nine o'clock, but I guess they're closing an hour early, probably because of the rain. Let's be real. That's what Adam keeps on talking about. And he's like, they're probably sending the ride operators home early. Typically on a weekend, they do start closing the bigger rides about an hour early so they can like get everybody like through the line, but there's, there's nobody here. Like, so it must be the rain. Total bummer though. We were hoping we could like bounce around and get a few more rides in. I said it a thousand times, but I love, love, love the diner strip at night. It touches my nostalgic little heart. I'm like all full of the different voices today. <laughs> so I have a snack pass so I can get a snack on the way out, but I really wanted a cookie and that's like not anywhere near me, so. I settled with the little sweet factory next door and spent kind of a lot of money on <laughs> some cookies, but whatever. And <laughs> you've got your fried dough, which is a good call because it's cold out, so you can get some fried it's dough. Good one too. I can't believe we keep on saying things like it's cold out and it's literally like July 11th. What the hell, Massachusetts? Yeah, I'm trying to dark chocolate Oreo cookie covered in dark chocolate. This is great. I was craving an Oreo yesterday. I'm fulfilling my needs. Since everything's closed, we're stopping by this DC oh, shop. Right here, chicks dig bad boys. Okay, but <laughs> no, don't let the Joker have any ladies. He's terrible towards <laughs> any relationship he's in whatsoever, except unless it's Batman. Even that one's questionable. But this is the DC shop that's like right at the entrance of Six Flags. I've never been in here before. They got a lot of cool stuff, including the Wayne Industries mug, which is actually very cool. It's a lot of the same stuff as the DC stores that are down like by Superman and stuff, but there's some, some cool stuff here. Like they have a whole Harley Quinn section, um, including this one that says, somebody in Arkham City loves me. This whole thing has a very mecha vibe to it. Want to carry it on your tablet in style? Honestly, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I would carry that around and be like, look how cool I am. <laughs> I am not Batman. Are you thirsty, Flash? Coffee? <laughs> yeah, this is why he's actually a Flash, because he drinks that much coffee per hour. Fastest it's like that episode life. of Futurama, <laughs> when he like does the 100 cups of coffee, and then at the end he like reaches like, I don't know, serendipitous like super speed. <laughs> I like how squeaky our shoes are. 
And of course, a thousand capes are always here at Six Flags if you want to be a true superhero. There you go. Here's a more fashionable mug. <laughs> that looks like the thing that you do at fairs when you like uh, yep. put the frisbee down and then you pour the paint and the frisbee's <laughs> spinning around. <Yeah. laughs> Except it's on a Batman mug. Right here is the other sweatshirt that I want. It's very cool. This is the one they picked up with Katie in the Christmas or the Holiday Lights vlog. It's actually a cool duffel over here. That looks like a giant purse. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I think it might be. No, it's a duffel. No, bag. it's a it's a, it's, it's a duffel bag. Yeah. But I'm gonna call it Batman's purse. This is where he keeps <laughs> his pocket change because he's rich. This is another flash mug here. Oh, this one's cool. In the way that kind of shines. But yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Six Flags Merch. How you doing? Are you ready to leave? Yeah. <laughs> I am back in my car where it is nice and dry and I've had to turn off the AC and turn on the heat a little bit. Again, why is this happening in July? This is why I want to move to Florida. I mean, this was an interesting night. I am a little disappointed that they closed everything down an hour early to push people out of here. Typically on the weekend, they'll do that with their bigger rides like Superman. So they're not having people wait in a queue line like an hour and a half past the time that the park closes. But this was like everything that shut down at eight o'clock. And I was like, wow, I was not expecting that. I'm not used to that. Um, but it was probably because of the rain and they felt like at this point, I mean, look at the lot right now. I mean, it's not even closed yet. And this is the main lot right by the entrance and there's barely any cars here. So they were probably like, yeah, we're gonna call it because otherwise we would lose money. And it's something that we've done at Evidence of Evil before. So I get it. It is what it is. And we have member passes and we're clearly here all the time. I'm here all the time. So I'll be back. I'll be back on a slow day so I can just bounce on all those rides. But it was really fun to get out here today because I feel like I was going into a roller coaster withdrawal. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can also find me on Twitch where I play video games at night usually. <laughs> Lately, I've been playing it like a little bit later at night. Uh, lots of horror games like Dead by Daylight, Killing Floor. I've also been playing a lot of Nintendo games. I'm very into Super Smash Brothers and Pokemon, so go check all that out there. And if you really wanna help support me, you can tip me on my Patreon. There's a link down below. You can see it right here. There's also one down in the description box. With that, I wanna say thank you for watching and we'll go on another adventure soon. So every day is an adventure and live your best life.